Hello, Georgie Burns here today. I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using scraps of paper. As you can see, this is all from a mail set that was out ooh, last year, year before. But it's all just scraps of paper. One way of using up your scraps. So I'm going to show you how I've done this. Today I have got a white card base. Oh, hang on, it's all full of bits of paper. Of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. And let's burn the shit. I have soft suede, I'm going to change the colour. Of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which will sit on top, and I've already put that through an embossing folder. It's of a brick wall. It's not a stamping up one, but I have ordered the stamping up brick wall one. I just got a bit patient and wanted to make this. I have two pieces of white, one for the front and one for the inside. Let's put that in there. This we will be cutting down once we finish sticking our papers on it. I have two uh, circles from the circle dies that will sit on top like that. And I also have got two one eight strips of gold um, paper and a load of rectangles. Now these measure half an inch by one and a half inches. I've made them a little bit bigger than this one. This one they were half an inch by an inch and I've just made these a bit bigger or we'll be here forever sticking them down. we will still get the same effect. And they're all different woods from stamping up. Just scraps of paper I've had in my drawer I'm decided to use. Now for the happy birthday that come off a retired one I have ordered the new stamp set um, let me see if I can find it with the great big happy birthday it's got a big bold happy birthday and script happy birthday I forgot what it's called it must really called happy summer um, let's see if I can find it. It's on this side, that's why I'm not opening the book. I've also ordered the baby stamp sets. There, this one. Biggest Wish. So, that one there. I've ordered that. That should be here within the next day or two. So instead I used this happy perennial, no, perennial birthdays, which was really old, and I cut it up. It was one big stamp and I cut it in half and did that with it. So that's what I'm using there. Right, I need that and I don't need them for now. And I don't need all these woods for now. Right, let's put that there. Right, I have got some double sided tape. This is a big, I think it's six inches, which I've had for, oh, it's four inches, which I've had for a, a while. I think I got it at a craft fair. And what we're going to do is stick this on here like that cut it off I don't need that no more like that and then we'll peel off the backing 
I mean, you can do this with normal size um, double sided tape. You just need to put a couple of inches on it, or you can do it with the cut a sheet of double sided tape up. So no, I'm going to put it over so it doesn't stick on me paper. Remember we are going to cut this down. Then with our strips strips or rectangle pieces just going to grab one and I'm going to stick I'm going to work this way I'm going to stick that on there like that that will be the top of my card I'm going to stick another one next to it but leaving a little gap and do want this side as well I'm just going to build a brick wall then I'm going to get I'm putting different colours next to it trying to get them as straight as I can I'm leaving a little gap I don't need to do these two edges because like I said we're going to cut it down All you've got to do is just follow the pattern and cover the whole sheet of paper all the way down. Um, sort of a light. I think I've got five different textures and colours here. Which I've used and try not to put the same colour next to each other. Ooh, that's the same as that. down. Very strong this double sided tape. That's too near. Um, Nearly done. Right. That's our order. I've got loads left. Could make some more. Right, we're going to cut it down. Just get the trimmer out of it. 
and we're going to cut it down to two and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is cut this side first. And then put this at two and a half inches. And cut that side. Then we cut through. Then with my scissors, I will cut these at the hanging off the end. Get rid of the rubbish, don't need them. The one I'm sticking all over the place. Right. And we should grab some scrap paper. Let me see if I've got some decent paper. This will do. Bring in our wall and we're going to cover it completely in gold embossing folder. Cover it all over in gold embossing folder. Uh, gold embossing powder and then pick it up and shake off the excess there we have our wall all covered in powder let's put this back Don't need that for now. I'll heat that up in a minute. Let's just stamp our happy birthday while we have the heat gun out. So with my embossing buddy, clear that off. My bursts are fine. Ooh, that didn't stick on very well, did it? Could see a mistake there. Happy was upside down. Right, I'll pop that in the middle. Looks okay. And we'll cover that with gold. And we'll start heating up. So get the tool going.
That's my happy birthday done. And now we're going to do the wall. I need to put these on there. Can you see that? And the mortar's all nice and gold. And that will sit on top of there, like that. And it glues flat, so going to glue that on. I have a blocked bottle. Typical. Mind you, I haven't used it since. Saturday and today is Tuesday. Can't do it the date. Thirteenth of July, I think. Right. I'm going to give myself a good inch space. Let's see if that's straight. Nope. Then with our gold strips we're going to place one there, even a small gap, and one there. I think I've made that actually wider. I have. That should have only been two inches, but it doesn't matter. I made it two and a half inches. And then that will sit on there like that, without that extra piece. I think that'll look quite nice. Right, let's glue these on. I'm just going to leave a nice gap along the side there and do the same this side. And then we'll take our scissors and trim anything that's hanging off the edge. And let's glue this on. Getting an even border all the way round. Need to put this 
from here. Extra glue because it's embossed. Happy up on dimensionals. Can you tell I use scrap paper? And that we're going to place. Just there. Put this in. And that is our card for today. One way of using up scrap paper. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.